Hello, my name is Rayapa Kasi. I'm going to talk about uh, international conventions on climate change. Uh, in Laudato Si, the encyclical written by Pope Francis, uh, in the chapter 5, uh, the lines of approach and action, that is the title of the chapter 5, Pope Francis discusses about the international, the United Nations conventions so far. So there were about uh, seven, eight conventions, um, especially it started in 1992, Rio, then uh, Janeiro in Brazil, Earth Summit it was called, where they came up with one beautiful word called sustainability, sustainable development. Because in 1992, uh, they knew that we are going to face a, a big environmental problem um, of uh, climate change and global warming. So they want to do something about it. So that's why the sustainable development, um, the word is very nice, uh, which means that we can use our natural resources wisely. Uh, we can use them, but at the same time we need to protect natural resources for the future generations for their use. So that is a sustainable development. So after that, uh, 1997, in Japan, Kyoto Protocol, the Kyoto Convention, very important, in which they talked about uh, um, the carbon dioxide uh, level in the atmosphere, uh, 380 uh, parts per million. Uh, in other words, we are across the uh, safe limit. That is very, very alarming. And now, today at present level, it's about 395 parts per million by volume. Uh, by weight, 880 billion tons of carbon. So 1997 Kyoto Protocol, um, uh, almost 172 countries joined together. And then they want to uh, bring down the carbon in the atmosphere. Not only that, and they have to limit by the turn of the 2100 in another 85 years, uh, probably there will be 4 degrees Celsius uh, increase uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, 4 degrees Celsius of temperature more. So already uh, we can't uh, really handle it right now. It's so hot in many places uh, uh, desertification is going on and four degrees too much so international uh, leaders they wanted to reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and uh, they did a pretty good job I should say uh, Kyoto Protocol was very very benevolent and uh, worked out very well and then came Copenhagen in 2009, and that was very bad. Pope Francis expresses uh, uh, concern about these uh, international uh, conventions on global warming and climate change. 2009 was a utter failure, utter failure in Copenhagen. Nothing happened. Only international leaders came in their own plane and they polluted, and they stayed in uh, big hotels then used excessive water in the five-star hotels and then they printed pages after pages. So much of paper was wasted and uh, actually they added more carbon and uh, more pollution to the existing uh, parts per million. And then came 2011, Durban, South Africa, uh, in which they decided uh, the target is two degrees by the turn of the century. 2,100, I mean four is reduced into two. Okay, two we can reduce 
and two we can't do anything. So I think two degrees increase. So far for the past 800 years only one degree Celsius has been increased but within 100 years two degree is going to uh, be increased. So that tells you <laughs> the alarming situation we are in right now, right now. So and then came Paris uh, Convention uh, 2015 last year and uh, pretty good and uh, I think uh, uh, the international community uh, took responsibility and all the uh, leaders of the world I think they have done a good job uh, in Paris Convention and I think the humanity is showing goodwill and uh, they are denouncing self-interest and uh, the indifference what they have been having the indifference and self-interest is all denounced. I think that's a good sign and uh, uh, before that Pope Francis encyclical Laudato Si also helped uh, to play a major role in the Paris summit. So we need to give credit to Pope Francis uh, for doing this wonderful work. And actually in the uh, chapter 5 in Laudato Si, Lines of Approach and Action, that's the title. Actually the bigger conventions, he didn't care much about them, but Pope Francis is talking about smaller conventions which uh, did a good job caring for creation, like um, uh, Stockholm Convention, Basel Convention, Vienna Convention on Biodiversity, and Montreal Convention on uh, Ozone Layer. And uh, all these small, small, small conventions, they did a pretty good job of uh, caring for creation. And uh, they, uh, uh, they were able to uh, fix a lot of environmental problems. And uh, Pope Francis gives credit to the smaller conventions. So I think in a smaller level, we can, uh, we can add more impact. And uh, a bigger convention only, uh, it gets the publicity and the people talk about it. But when it comes to action, nothing happens. But in a smaller convention, they don't get the big publicity. But action plan is very, very good. And the locally people respond uh, to these smaller conventions. So I think it's a beautiful, beautiful document you need to read. Laudato Si, Chapter 5, uh, very important in which Pope Francis is discussing about uh, the international uh, community to come for a consensus. And the uh, international community should have a common plan for this planet Earth. The international community should develop a new form of transportation, new form of energy transition and so on. And then uh, uh, also in a local level, Pope is recommending in a national level, uh, he gives a lot of guidelines to the politicians and uh, I think we can do it. And also in a personal level, and he's calling for a change. So I think read chapter 5 of Laudato Si, it gives you a lot of insights how to act. Thank you.